Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Ellie. Um, today, I'm gonna be doing a first impressions like review on a few bits and bobs that I got from Be Perfect. So, um, Be Perfect is a Northern Ireland based brand. It was set up by Brendan McDell. Um, he was on Dragon's Den as well in 2017. Um, and he created some products. So, I'm just gonna show you first what I have um, and then I'm gonna test them all out. I've never tried any of these products before. So I'm gonna test them all out. Um, I'm gonna do some bits and bobs off camera because I just want this to be strictly be perfect. Like I don't wanna have to add in any more products. And anything that I do do off camera is definitely in a previous routine if you wanna see that. So I'm gonna show you what I have first. Firstly, I have two Be Perfect Cosmetics semi-brow, or semi-permanent brow kits. I was gonna say semi-brow brow kits. So they're water resistant, smudge proof, sweat proof and last up to 24 hours and it includes three sets. Um, I have been informed that these, this is the old packaging, the ones that I received. Um, so there is newer packaging and as far as I'm aware it comes with four stencils instead of three. High definition brows, professional look, instantly create perfect brows. The ultimate definition for a more beautiful eyebrows. Oh, I got two shades, so I got charcoal and chocolate. You'll get a little brush, focus, come on. So it's fluffy on one side and then you have the angled, the angled side. You get your product, so it's a powder. Oh my God, I can't open it. Okay, so yeah, it's just powder and then you get yeah so you get a little booklet of instructions and you get your stencils so do you get your, oh, three yeah so you get your stencils which you just hold over your brow and fill in fill in product yeah so next up we have the be perfect i struggled reading this the other day on snapchat be be prepared conceal and highlight so this is it here. It's one of those, um, I did like swatch this through there, I haven't used it, but it's one of those like clicky concealers. And yeah. Yeah, so I might use this to carve out my brows or like brighten my under up. Then I have the Be Perfect Cosmetics Primer. Yeah, so I do have like all the info here with prices and whatnot but i will leave them all linked down below with the prices so you, if you want to check it out you can just pop on over yeah so this is the be perfect cosmetics primer yeah it's just one of those you know the silicone feeling ones and it like blends into nothing i think that is the coolest feeling ever next then we have the be perfect cosmetics brush on fiber lash so, alternative to eyelash extensions, instant volume and length. So you get, one is a lengthening gel mascara and then the other is enhancement fibers. So you get your two products and one is obviously the gel to like make your eyelashes wet and then you brush on fibers. So it adds like, oh look how to apply, super duper handy. And then lastly, I have the Be Perfect Cosmetics LMD Matter Palette. So this was a palette that Be Perfect, or is a palette that Be Perfect did in collaboration with Louise McDonald, um, who is an Irish makeup artist. So it's super cute, look at this. So yeah, I'll just show you the colors. So you get a highlighter, yeah, highlighter, a kind of bronzy contour and a blush. And then all the shades. I haven't swatched these or anything. So yeah. yeah, so these are the products that we're going to be using today. So if you're interested and want to see how they work out, um, then just please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my brows. Um, I might have to mix the two shades. I'll show you a close-up now. But I might have to mix them. And I might use charcoal towards the end of my brow and chocolate towards the front. I'm not going to try and get like a perfect brow. I like a really defined like... I use gel every day, so I use a MAC brow gel, and um, so I love that like sharp, concealed, like intense brow. And I feel this will give you more of like a natural-ish one. So I'm going to take, what one will I use? This is cool. Okay, depending on where your arch is, obviously you get three stencils. So the stencils aren't 
going to match everybody's brows like that's just kind of obvious it's not going to match everyone's so i'm not going to worry about the front of my brow too much i'm just going to like match the arch of the stencil with the arch of my actual brow so you can see there like there's still excuse my nails a lot of my nails on there's still a lot of hair at the front but i don't mind that um yeah so i'm going to match the arch with my arch this is cool i never use powders i haven't used powders in years but we'll see i'm going to take the fluffy side of the brush um and i'm just gonna i actually don't know how i'm gonna do this but i just yeah okay oh my god okay i'll show you first so you only need a tiny teeny tiny bit of product so i'm scared i think i'm gonna start with chocolate first just to see oh my god This is cool. Like if you're looking for a really like quick brow. No way! That's not bad. So I'm going into chalk. I'm mixing them both together just to see. Because I don't know what colour I want my brows today. And I'm just still using the fluffy side. Okay, I kind of ruined that one a little bit. That is not bad. So I'm gonna take the angled side of the brush and I'm gonna go in with chocolate. And I'm just gonna start filling in my brows the way I normally would. I drag it down a little bit further. This is actually cool. Wow. Um, I'm gonna go in with some concealer now. I'm gonna fix this one up as well. I'm gonna go in with some concealer and just carve out my brows. And I'll be back in two moments. Okay, so I just went back in with the powder. Um, just to, like, obviously define them that little bit more. The stencil that I used was the defined stencil. So, you just can't see that, but it's the defined stencil that I used. And then I just filled them in the way that I normally wear them with the powder and um, carved them out with some concealer. So moving on, I'm rolling up my sleeves. We're getting into this. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna use is the primer. So I'm gonna do my skin and then I'll do eyes. So I'm just gonna take two pumps of the primer. And like I was saying earlier, I'm not a big primer girl, but I will give it a whirl. I think this is the coolest feeling ever. It's so fun. So it does slightly modify the skin. It definitely smooths it though, like smooths your pores and stuff. I have like some pores on my nose, but they seem to be gone. I'm gonna do foundation and concealer now, and I'll be back when that's on. Okie dokie, okay, so I have my skin on. Um, I just prepped my lid with some primer as well and just set it with some powder. I set my skin with powder as well in case we get any fallout with the shadows. I can just sweep it away. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this palette. No idea what look I'm going to do. So I might do one eye at a time. So I'm going to do one eye first and then I'll do the other one off camera obviously to match it. But yeah, I don't even know where to start. So I just want to smell it. I'm going to go in first with the shade Marbs, which is this one here. And I'm just taking it on an Inglot 46 SS. And I'm just gonna run that through my crease. So this is gonna be our first transition shade. Like so, I like that color. That's nice. Again, no idea what's going on here. Um, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna use a 48 SS from Inglot. It's just a smaller brush. And I'm gonna take the shade Tiger which is that orange one and I'm just gonna go a little bit lower and I'm just gonna start deepening the outer corner they blend really nicely together like they're not separating or anything they're just kind of like mushing into one which is nice so with that brush that I used to pick up Tiger, I'm gonna take this shade Toffee, which is up here. Now it looks like there's a like a tiny little bit of sparkle in this, but sure it's not, we'll give it a bash anyway. So this is Toffee. 
and this is just being focused more on the outer corner just again just deepen it a small bit is that sparkly shit what did i do so this is what we got going so far i'm gonna switch brushes again i'm gonna take this is a crown c528 it's just a teeny tiny brush i'm gonna take the shade coco like my coco and i'm just gonna start pressing this on the outer corner now i know this is gonna just be like a warm brown eye but sure what else do you expect then i might take it on a fluffy brush so i'm gonna take the shade the brush that i used to pick up um toffee i'm gonna take cocoa on it just to help it blend but to keep the depth my english isn't great today for the lid i'm just taking a flat brush and i'm gonna take the shade rusty which is this one down here oh it feels like butter Oh yeah, love that, thank you. So that's just being packed all over the lid. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, so I'm gonna move, move. I'm gonna jump off camera now and just match my eyes up. Uh, itch. Match my eyes up so I don't look too mental and then we're gonna do underneath the eye. Okay, so at least we have two matching eyeballs now. Um, I deepened them up off camera just with the exact same colors and technique. But we're going to move on to underneath the lash line now. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Cranberry. Just on a tiny brush. This is an Inglot 13P. And I'm going to pop this closest. I need a mirror. I'm going to pop this closest to my lash line. So the shade does have um, like a pearlescent kind of look to it. But I don't like that. I am then going to take, I'm going to take, and um, this is a Buff and Blend BB12, I love this brush, with the same colour, Cranberry. Just to help like diffuse the edges. And then I'm going to pick up another Inglot 46 SS, this is just a clean one. And I'm going to take Tiger, and this is going to help me blend down the purple. pretty that's pretty okay and then for my inner corners I'm gonna take um, I've no idea what this is called it's an inglot brush but it's just like a bullet one and I'm taking the shade beam which is this one up here Ooh. oh I like that bright so this is what we have going on so far i forgot to show you i carved out my brows using the um what's it called the conceal and highlight and it worked really really well i used some of my own concealer and then just to brighten it up i used the conceal and highlight clicky pen but i forgot to record it i'm really sorry i didn't use this on my skin um yeah because I just forgot so I'll definitely try it again in another tutorial like actually on my skin to see how well it brightens but we're gonna move on to mascara now I feel like I keep forgetting to use a product but we didn't <laughs> deadly okay so I'll show you I'll do one lash so you can see like the difference. And we'll do the bottom. So that's the gel. And then I'm gonna take the enhancement fibers. Fluffy! Ah! Okay. Ooh. 
what is going on here. I think I might have let it dry too much. Or did I? I don't think so. And then it says to go back in with a layer of the gel. I'm shook. Look. Well, this lash is turning over. I don't know why, but that's really good for like every day. Now, I know I'm a lash wearer. I just have been wearing lashes every day for as long as I can remember. Um, but like on an everyday basis, I basis I definitely just stick to this and let it dry. No, it's still a little bit wet. But like, can you see that? That is super, super good. Yeah, okay, that one works way better. I definitely let this side dry too, too much. Wow, oh my God. Yeah, definitely winner, winner, chicken dinner. I really like that. So I'm gonna pop off camera now. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face, slap on a lip, and then I'll be back um, just to do like a little review kind of thing. So two secs. Okay, so I just finished my face off camera. I used the highlight from the LMD palette, um, which is actually just called Highlight. It's the goldy shade up there, but like, look how gold it is, it's beautiful. Overall, my thoughts on all the products that I used are, um, I am super duper duper impressed. I really actually like that brow stencil, I can see like how perfect it would be for somebody who's like in a rush, slap a stencil on and just over it with a powder again like i said i like a really defined brow so i like to go back in and like sharpen it up and carve it out and whatnot palette really really good i feel like this would be super super duper handy for um a makeup artist or not even a makeup artist just anybody in general um yeah i feel like the shade range is lovely in it and also the fact it's so compact you can just literally throw that in your handbag the concealer the primer is the thing that fell on the floor <coughs> so i'll know in a while how well it'll hold up my makeup. It did smooth it, I have to say. So if you're somebody who like has a lot of texture or big pores on your skin, I feel like that primer would be perfect. It really gives like a smooth appearance to the skin. The Be Prepared Conceal and Highlight, really good underneath my brows. It did brighten a lot. The, it's very, very like, it's a very yellowy tone. So it's a really bright product. I didn't use it on my skin. I will in another, in another tutorial. I have to slow down. Yeah, so I will use that in another tutorial on my skin and see how well it works. And then lastly, the brush on fiber lashes. I will be using that any day that I'm not wearing mascara, or not wearing eyelashes. Really, really, really liked it. So if you enjoyed this um, like review, video, tutorial kind of thing, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below anything you want to see me do next or if there's any products out there that you want me to try next um, I love trying new things. I'm the type of person who gets stuck in a rut of using the same thing for years So I want to venture out a little bit So I also want to let you know that I will be working with Be Perfect this year um, on a few bits and bobs So I will be creating a lot more looks with the pal with the LMD palette using the brow kits like just using their products in general. Um, so you can pop over to my Instagram if you wanna see some more looks that I do. But tag me in your looks. If you've used the palette and have different eye looks that you could create, please tag me in them, I love seeing them. I think that's all it. Like I said earlier as well, everything will be tagged down below. All the products that I used, all my social media will be as well. So if you wanna follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, come on over, I love having you. And I will see you all in my next video.